So here's a quick video about a new feature on Android. The feature is called Nearby Share and it lets you share files wirelessly between Android devices that are close to each other. It's kind of like Apple's AirDrop but doesn't yet connect to desktop devices. Google is planning to make it part of its Chrome browser though, so this additional functionality might be coming in the near future. Nearby Share is or will be available on all Android devices running Android 6 Marshmallow or later. It is not a separate app that you need to download but integrate it into the system via Google Play services. So here's how it works. You need to activate Nearby Share on both devices, the one that is sharing and the one that is receiving. I have two devices with me here, a Google Pixel 3 and an LGV30. I will only walk you through the activation process on the Pixel 3. It's already activated on the V30. First of all, if you haven't enabled Bluetooth and location on your devices, you need to do so because that's how Nearby Share will search for and uh, find nearby devices. Then uh, you need to go into the settings and uh, tap on Google and uh, find device connections and uh, Nearby Share. Then you need to activate it and now you have a couple of options here. Um, you can change the device name. Uh, you can change the device visibility. I, uh, between uh, different options here, all contacts, some contacts and hidden. And you also get a nice explanation here. Uh, I usually leave it on hidden because uh, you will get a prompt on the other device to become visible. So uh, that's what I do. And um, then you can uh, select how the transfer will be done. And uh, I will select without internet because uh, then you don't use up any data. And it will use the peer-to-peer -peer, um, Wi-Fi direct protocol, which is pretty fast. So I select without internet, update, and uh, that's going to be it. Okay, so we're all set for our first file transfer. I will open Google Photos. Uh, you can do this with any gallery app on your Android phone, but here on the Pixel, it's Google Photos. And uh, I open a random uh, video and tap on the share button in the bottom left corner. And uh, there you will see the share sheet and um, nearby share uh, is in first place here. It's not always the first option. It depends on how often you use it. If it's not there, just tap on more and you will be able to locate it. So I tap on nearby share uh, you get a couple of options and uh, you select actual size and you will get a prompt device nearby sharing tap to become visible on the other device. And uh, now we're just waiting. Okay, here it pops up. There's my V30. I tap on V30 and uh, it will be um, giving me a prompt on the other phone to accept this uh, file. I tap on accept and uh, the transfer is underway. That's it. Okay, so I'm just gonna go open Google Photos always. Right, and there it is. Uh, it will be in the download folder of uh, your gallery app. Okay, just one more thing, in case you don't get the prompt on the receiving device, what you should do is add uh, nearby share to your quick settings, and then you just tap on it and you will be come uh, visible to the other device immediately.